Today I'm going to show you how to integrate LDAP to HMAP uh, with OPB server. Um, here is a step we are going to in this video. Uh, the main purpose of the video is quick introduce a very basic step to set up integration. Uh, and uh, finally, we should uh, able to sync LDAP user to Edmark contact. Um, via this video, uh, I will show you some uh, useful document, uh, tip and note to, uh, to during the integration. Um, before the integration, we should have prepared for below a document like uh, integration with LDAP. Uh, one AD server and one OPB server. Uh, in my environment, uh, I use OPB server on the window and uh, window operating system. Uh, one AD server, uh, uh, but uh, uh, in the production environment, uh, we just, uh, recommend you for separate LDAP server. So let's begin. Um, I would like to introduce the document you should review first. Uh, in this uh, video, my uh, SMAP environment is 2021.0 and uh, you can uh, refer to the accordingly document but it's quite the same for the, the content. Okay. So, I will introduce for the ID server first. On the ID server, uh, it's very simple to get uh, one domain and uh, you request a new organization unit. Uh, here, I press a new OU APJ with three users. All these three users. So after the integration, uh, you will uh, sync the, uh, all three users to Edmark contact. Um, basically, after uh, during the uh, user greeting, you should fill all the basic information like phone, email, description, and office, um, like telephone profile here. Uh, so that you can sync all the information back to Edmark so that we can check back later. Okay. Uh, here is the OPB server. So you should uh, have uh, installation for OPB server environment uh, before the integration here with the Windows server. So what we go into uh, next step? Okay, uh, to set up uh, the OPB, uh, OPB server, you have to follow the OPB installation document like this. This is the OPB it, uh, it installation uh, documentation. You should prepare first before the integration. Okay, uh, we going to set up uh, our BB server. Uh, so how to download the uh, OPB uh, uh, server installation file? Uh, you can go to the SMAP dashboard, go to integration in the administration. Go to Azen and you can click for download Azen. Or even if you can add a new Azen, you uh, can able to download the, the, uh, the, the installation file for the OPB server here. Okay. So 
after download and install it and soon uh, for the OBB server, you will see in the program data uh, there are a group of the shortcut for uh, uh, administrate this uh, uh, OPB server, yeah. And you can go to the service and see the OPB agent. You can start out of service here. So what we do in next? After installing OPB server, uh, you can uh, have the shortcut to manage and uh, you should not for the OPB log folder so that uh, uh, luckily you can uh, have the troubleshoot if you have any issue for the OPB server. So where is the log folder? On uh, the setup program file, you can go to microfocus or BB agent. And uh, for that, we will see the log here. The controller log for uh, log file for issue with OBB. Uh, and here is a log folder for the connection with the LDAP domain. Uh, anyway, a log, uh, all the log we inside the log folder in the OPP agent. Uh, very important task is to establish the connection between the SUI admark and the OBB. So, uh, you should import the certificate to OBB uh, key store. So, you should uh, get uh, for the certificate from admark. Just go to the dashboard uh, agent here uh, to import the certificate you right you click here and see the certificate and you you can import here to import to the certificate file or the and copy it to the OBB server so now how to import this certificate to OPB? I will show you. Uh, the document uh, uh, have a detailed command to uh, let you connect uh, and uh, let you import uh, the certificate on the OPB server. So on the OPB server, you go to Java bin folder. And you will see K2. And you can uh, open command prompt and run the K2 command as I show you in the document. Yeah, the very detailed command. After the importing certificate, you can uh, confirm uh, how the certificate was imported or not. Uh, you can uh, use a tool like key store explorer to check the certificate if you have imported successfully. This is a free tool you can download the from key store site to you in your environment.
after successfully uh, import the certificate, you can uh, go to AdMark uh, and configure the endpoint credential map. Sorry, you can go to the the OPB server to create the endpoint credential manager. This is this is like a, a, an account for connect. This is a shortcut for Android Credential Manager. Just open it. And wait for OPP LDAP domain. Uh, this is an Android high and name. Um, the name uh, you can uh, put uh, anyone you uh, any name you want and the user is an ID user. From here, I uh, use the uh, administrator for the domain and hide the password and save. We have a row here. For the tab purple, I just is to uh, we can show, but the mainly I connect with uh, the first one. Okay. Uh, at this uh, time, if you need to create the Android, uh, you can create uh, and sorry, Android create and measure. You can. Uh, Go to AdMap and connect uh, with the uh, uh, OBB server by adding agent and uh, endpoint. And finally, you can see the uh, user. So, I will show you the way to connect to the agent. Uh, you can create an agent. Firstly, if you have not agent, you can create a new agent. Hi, the name, the description. Um, the important thing is that you should uh, download the condition file to the OPB folder. Here I can show you for the OPB. the product config folder here is a file you should put uh, to connect to the admark it uh, tenant it's okay i already create a agent like this and you can see the my agent I enable notification to this user to get the uh, email uh, if uh, any information not for integration. This user will receive the email notification and click save. After have the agent, you can uh, create an endpoint. Here I already create an uh, LDAP uh, integration endpoint. Uh, very simple. First, you can click Add and select the endpoint high as LDAP integration, and for name uh, whatever you want, and uh, something on the agent LDAP agent which we just created previously. Here in my configuration. Uh, after uh, create the fresh new uh, endpoint, you can edit and put. Uh, uh, um, some uh, information like hot name, uh, 
freelancer or you we this is a freelancer you created in the OBB server. The port number is scheduled for the integration uh, reload and syncing. Integration configuration you choose uh at twenty eleven at twenty twelve. This is how we created for the AD domain privately. Uh, this how we contain the three users we need to sync and add the connection. Success. Uh, to send the user uh, to form admin, uh, to admin, you can uh, you have to fill the record mapping to collect uh, and sing what field you want. Uh, for for example, the first name uh, uh, is the uh, uh, admin, but uh, in the ID is a given name. And the not lab name is the SN. SN. So, uh, how to um, how to know this uh, swap and uh, uh, some uh, um, filter? You can refer to the document. Yes, the, the document for configuring the mapping. Yeah, you just follow exactly uh, what's showing here. For the mapping. Okay, and finally, uh, you can uh, save and uh, regret full sync. Click on regret full sync. We, uh, we sync all the user from LDAS server to at map so now go to the after uh, the, the scene uh, successfully performed you can check on the pupil you will see uh, one two and three three user from Elda already sent to Edmark con as contact. So this is all the step uh, I introduce you and uh, hopefully it, that will help you to uh, test on the end for interface uh, with uh, Elda to your Edmark. Uh, okay, thank you for the watching. Goodbye.